Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary Jane and this is MJ Money Matters. In this space, I show you how I use the zero-based budgeting method to control and maintain a simplified money life. If that sounds like content that you're interested in, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and stick around for more. So, weather's changing and so is my voice. <laughs> so, apologies for the allergies and probably coughing. But as the title displayed, uh, I did feel like there was really no choice for me but to leave my job yesterday at the fine dining restaurant. And I have mixed emotions about this. Like, I know I did the right thing for myself, for my mental health, and for my bottom line because of what was going on. I do feel like the sooner I find something uh, more suitable, the, the sooner I find something less toxic, um, the sooner I can move forward with my goals. So, um, that's pretty much that. In restaurants, you know, there are all kinds of things that can go wrong, and then tempers flare, egos get in the way, and, um, there are certain practices that are just not appropriate for restaurant behavior. Um, just straight up, the manager, the, well, he's not even the manager, the owner, the owner of the restaurant, acting manager, um, started the pre-shift threatening us with a threat that's illegal threatening to hold our tips from us that we lawfully earned um, and not paying us. So I, you know, I already have issues with the pay there. I have serious issues with the pay there. I was supposed to be paid on Friday, asked for my check three times, and I did not get it. I had to wait until Saturday, which was yesterday. So I put it into the bank maybe an hour ago. And then, of course, I have my amount that I have to wait to uh, Tuesday to get so, um, I'm already super frustrated with the payment thing, but to threaten me and everyone else there with not paying us our earned tips, that's like a labor board issue. And I'm like, I, that was already like the red flag. Like this is, this is, I really had decided at that point, okay, I'm going to give my notice and I was going to give them the option of a two week notice, which would then be like, no, forget it. You don't need to come in again. Probably. That was my expectation. But as things progressed, and I should say fell apart, um, it got to the point where I was personally insulted. And I was not put on the patio. And it was not fair how the sections were set up, where some people got seven tables and other people got four tables. And the seven tables were the prime tables outside, and the four tables were the crap tables inside, you know, for everybody else. And I'm just, I brought it up. Like, like, this is literally just not even fair. And it's like, well, you know, I put the people I felt were strong outside. So then I was personally insulted. And at that point, I was like, you know what? I am, um, I'm not going to give a notice. This will be my last day. And things regressed even more from there and kitchen fails. And we had multiple tables walk out because they couldn't get food. And, um, you know, I had given someone a bill for just their drinks and they didn't leave even enough to cover that. I got a six cent tip on a $150 check because they were mad that they had to wait so long for their food. And I just, you know, I have decided for myself that I want to find a place that has a 20% autograph on all tables. That is a lot of restaurants do that here in Detroit. Is not uncommon. I also um, would like to work someplace that has a fairer, <coughs> excuse me, a more equitable way to sit tables. Um, I'm a server for a long time, and this whole like, ooh, they're stronger. It's like, okay, well, the people that are outside also never do side work. So you want me to sit in here for $3 an hour and do all the support work for them so that they can make a ton more money than me. Like, it, this is just not, it's not even adding up. So I need to exit stage left. And by the end of the night, it had regressed so badly that people would leave and they would clean the table and put another table there. It was future mad people. And I just was like, I'm, I'm not going to take it. And I got the, you don't have a choice. Well, there's always a choice. <laughs> And then I got the owner saying, if you don't take that table, you don't have a job here tomorrow. And I was like, okay. And um, so I got a schedule revision about two hours ago in my email, which was surprising. 
and they punished me by taking away my Monday. Now, keep in mind, I did not show up to work today. And I was told I didn't have a job. So I was surprised that they changed my schedule. And so basically, like, they took a day away from me. And then I guess they're expecting me to come back on Wednesday. But that's not happening. And uh, so I will be looking for something else. And because of my budgeting, everything's sort of taken care of in the, you know, short term of things. And, um, yeah, the beauty with having multiple streams of income is when things become very unbearable, when things become toxic, when things are illegal, um, you have options. Like, you can walk away. I'm sure there's plenty of people there that can't because they don't have any other income or they don't have anything saved. And that's why I do what I do. All right, so the mortgage, I pulled it. 200 there for the mortgage. And I will be paying that tomorrow. So it is the 22nd today. I'll be paying it on the 23rd. I always like to pay at least a week in advance. And that's so there is absolutely no issues uh, with my mortgage itself. But I do like to pay my bills a week early if I can. Um, storage, I paid that today. Done. Again, early. But also, too... So I'm not, you know, frantic and like, oh my God, how am I going to pay this? I've just walked out of my job. Um, so I'm, I try to take care of myself in that way. Lot rent, I've already paid. Uh, AAA renewal. I was going to put this off for like another week, but I'm like, well, I only have one job now. So I really should have um, my AAA. I'm putting aside $40 for that. And I'll set that up tomorrow. Excuse me. Net credit was paid. Auto insurance, $280. So what I'm going to do is that's going to be on Tuesday. I always have money on that stupid check that doesn't go through, right? Because at a certain amount, it cuts it off. And it's like, you have to wait until, you know, another business day for us to verify this check, blah, blah, blah. And so that's when that's going to come out. I'll pay it on Tuesday. But again, it's like still early. Generate water, put aside 50, it was actually 37. And that is paid. Detroit box, I'm gonna put aside $40. $40, and that will um, come out automatically, and that's for my mailbox here in Detroit. Paramount Plus, $7. I have, <laughs> like, I'm just put 10 bucks. Here we go. I'm like, I have some buffer in my account, but just in case. Tip bank. Well, I don't need that at the moment. I, uh, I don't know. I'm very torn on this. I don't know where the next place is I'm going. But I really hope that it's a place where whatever I get in tips that night, I can pay towards the server assistance in the bar. And then I'm not having to pay forward money that I haven't earned yet. I really hope that's the end of that. I don't mind keeping money as a bank for customers. Like, hey, can you break this $100 bill for me? You know, that's fine. It's the fact that I'm having every single day that I work to bring cash to pay other people when I don't get cash. It's just like, you're asking a lot. Like, I feel like I got stretched to the point where I was like a rubber band that had lost all its elasticity. I'm like, I, I can't anymore. Like, you have pushed me to the brink and I... Need to leave. <laughs> IOU was paid. Back taxes. I'm definitely moving that. That is not a priority. It is a priority. Don't get me wrong. Paying taxes is a priority. I hate that I have the back taxes. But because of the situation that I was in that was unforeseen, that's just going to get moved a couple of weeks until I figure out what it is that I'm going to do and where I'm going to work. And I have to go through the training period. It's usually about a week. Where you don't get anything. I mean, you get like maybe ten dollars an hour. You work a lot, really hard, actually. Um, gas was paid, and this extra twenty five dollars here because I got a twenty five. I, I got a I got a sixty gallon tank. Doll, I, let me change that. I got a sixty dollar full tank, not a sixty gallon tank. Um, and I have, uh, the commute and where it's just like, I already have like a quarter of that gas gone. 
I'm gonna keep this extra 25. I'm just gonna call it more gas. Put it in my little gas envelope. And that will be this $25. So everything is paid from this week. The mortgage is taken care of, car insurance, storage for next month. Um, all of those things are taken care of because I budgeted in advance. Because I set myself up for this in case this were to happen. And then it did. So this is the best example I have of why doing zero-based budgeting and the cash stuffing method really has helped me a lot. Because there would be times in my life where I had to stay at very horrible jobs and very bad situations, bad living situations, um, because I didn't have choices. Because I was so hand to mouth, I was paycheck to paycheck. And so I'm really trying to change my mindset. And I'm, I'm proud of me, <laughs> honestly, I'm really proud of me for I was able, I didn't lose my temper, I didn't raise my voice. But when it was like, you don't have a job here tomorrow if you don't do this, I'm like, I, it was just, I was so calm about it. I'm like, okay, shrugged, move on. Like, I, well, it's, it's, I'm not gonna starve. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you. And um, hopefully next week I have more exciting things to say. And I have updates with good news. I still, you know, I have school tomorrow. I've got my contract job. And uh, it's not the end of the world. I don't exactly have fuck you money. But I had enough to say fuck you. <laughs> have a great day.